All right, so we're back at it again. I've been to B and Q, and I've got some uh, some more wood. So this is me uh, just dragging it from again from the side of my house. Um, I did decide to carry all four at once here. It was a bit heavy; had to uh, readjust. Um, but again, because it's a nice uh, downhill ramp, it's quite easy to uh, just put all down once you're holding it. Bit tough when you're on the flat, so you'll see me throwing wood around quite a bit. So I've decided um, to get started today and what I need to do is clear this space uh, first. Now someone someone said to me recently, I made a comment recently about is it not frustrating having to go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Yes, yes it is. As you can see I can only really carry one thing at a time. And you know the options here, because I'm just getting rid of some of these old plant pots, they've all got some perennials in that will uh, eventually come back. Um, but you know, I could put, pick them up and put them on my knee, but I'm gonna get soaked that way, and at this time it wasn't raining. So yeah, I've got to do one thing at a time. Next to move is this big veg truck. So that's uh, this surprisingly heavy, you know, it's full of soil. It's got a bit of kale sticking out the top there. Um, so I do use my chair quite a lot to, to actually maneuver big heavy things around. Um, what I'm doing here is I'm positioning the, the legs between my feet and the foot plate so I'm not actually pressing off my toes. Obviously I can't feel my feet and the last thing I want to do is end up breaking a couple of toes trying to push something around. Now this pear tree was really heavy so I had to drag it out uh, and again using the uh, my cast in the front just positioning my feet so I'm not going to damage my toes I'm just going to push it out of the way. Then a quick tidy up, just uh, to remove all the, the soil and dirt and worms that are, uh, that are on the ground. Don't really want to roll over them all. So I have cleared all the space where my new raised bed's going to go. It's going to go up to this fence post here. I'm not going any further because of that tree there. And so I've moved everything. I've just left that veg planter at the top for now. It's quite heavy to move. And uh, this is what I've got so far. So these will make up the posts so these posts will be mounted to the existing fence post I'll have to cut around the bolts that are sticking out okay so I've notched out where the bolts gonna go now because they're not pointing straight you know I've had to just cut the ones out the side but these will then just slot in <laughs> It's a terrible example of how to use a saw. I'll be honest, it's quite difficult when you're sat down in a wheelchair. You can't really, you need to be able to stand over the wood, put your weight on it to stop it moving, uh, to get a good uh, cut line. So I end up, um, I, I cocked up the first bit, so I had to just turn it over and start again. But it was a decent cut in the end. Well, I've been rained off today, but just to give you an idea of what it's gonna look like. So I've got some of the battens on the fence posts, and obviously the scaffolding boards will then be mounted to here. Uh, obviously be mounted level. Let's have a level there. Alright, well, the rain stopped. There's someone looking at blue sky now. So I'll come back out to uh, get a little bit more done. So I've got the first five battens. I've not finished that corner off yet. I do have to do the top bit. There's a random rail stick in there, stuck in the ground, so I've got to work around it. But I've given um, all the boards just one quick coat of some... Uh, decking stain that I found in the shed and again these are uh, this is this side that I've painted will be the back side so you won't even see it but it's just to protect the wood really yeah that's what we're up to <laughs> 